I'm Zach Miner, head of contemporary art evening sales at Philips DePuri & Company in New York. I'm pleased to present to you a highlight from our upcoming May 10th evening sale. By the summer of 1975, de Kooning had hit a new stride. During this particularly productive period, he produced a number of large-scale canvases. Untitled number six stands at over seven by six feet. Swaths of pink and crimson writhe across the surface, entangled and entwined with whites that are creamy, light, and airy. De Kooning set up a studio in the Hamptons of Long Island a decade before. He was deeply affected by the lushness of vegetation, the expanses of sand, and the incredible light. As early as the 1940s, he'd been concerned with representing the figure in ever more inventive manners. Increasingly, the unified totality of the forms began to dissolve in his work, melting into an almost liquid essence. The structure of his previous subject matter continued to create a framework for his ever more bold explorations. Hints of the figure flashed through landscapes of dense brushwork with an overtly watery texture. He told his friend, the critic Harold Rosenberg, if I make a big painting, I want it to be intimate. It has to be a painting, not something made for a special place. To make a small painting look big is very difficult, but to make a big painting look small is also very difficult. Not only is de Kooning attempting to, in many ways, paint a figure, but there's a physicality to the surface of the pictures themselves where we see the remnants of the making of them, the muscular, almost athletic gestures that are left on the surface of the canvas. This multiplicity of techniques is really extraordinary for de Kooning's work in this period of time and is really the outgrowth of over 40 years of experimentation. With Untitled Six, we see the supreme execution of de Kooning's process, an art that is at once monumental and intimate.